she came as an undergraduate. She was like many of our students in that um, she had started somewhere, taken a few courses here, a few courses here, and she came to get an undergraduate degree and had sort of calculated the fastest route to graduation, thinking that really if she just checked the boxes, then that would be great, she would get her degree. So the first experiences I had with this person in art history were, you know, okay, but she, I wouldn't have marked her as somebody to really watch. But something happened in a course where she got really involved in the research. I don't really remember at this point what the topic was, but something clicked with her and it was obvious to me that it clicked. And she became very excited and eventually went on and, and decided she wanted to get a master's degree here and, and worked with us. And then she became one of our uh, sort of very reliable part-time teachers. Art history is not something that a lot of students have had experience with before they come here. It's not routinely part of a high school curriculum. And so it's sort of a foreign thing. It's not like English math history that everybody kind of knows what it is. And so sometimes I think students come into art history just because they have to or don't really think about what it is. And then something happens and it's, it's good. We kind of have one foot in the humanities, one foot in the arts. And so it has many of the virtues that say a degree in history or English or philosophy or languages would as well. I like it when students are engaged and um, I get to kind of engage with them. Uh, and I definitely like the, the sort of research side and particularly helping students. I see myself as kind of like a midwife. Uh, you know, you're helping students um, accomplish something and when students work really hard on things, which a lot of ours do, uh, that can be very rewarding to kind of see what's, what comes up. I think the most obvious thing, particularly for us in art history, is the relationship with the Arkansas Arts Center. They have been very good to our students in several ways. One is um, a student just working on a regular research paper that needs to see something at the Arts Center can usually make those arrangements. Uh, they, they're very good about you know, letting our students go beyond just what's on the wall. Uh, and we've had graduate students who have uh, had significant projects using Art Center materials. Uh, we also often take classes down there for say an exhibit or something like that. And then sometimes we art historians will go down there and give a lecture that relates to something that they're doing. We kind of have the same goals for our students, which is, um, you know, to be well-rounded and educated in the arts. And so there's support for art history among studio faculty. Um, art history faculty participate in studio critiques sometimes. We're, we're kind of interested in the same things, just different paths to get there. There's a lot of expertise in this department. It's, it's a wonderful facility, uh, especially for the studio art side of things. And we're all kind of under the same roof, which means that there's uh, possibilities for interaction and, and thinking about things that might be different in another situation where you were spread further apart. If you're kind of serious about thinking about the arts, uh, this is a good place to be.